Hello Leo, my name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing the Mastermind series today in this tarot card video. So what this reading is going to entail is a keyhole look into the mind of the individual you are dealing with. This may or may not relate to you. It could also be looking at what is affecting this individual on an external level. Could be their career. Could be their personal circumstances. Whatever is affecting them is going to be shown in the tarot cards. And by using this information, you will know how to interact and engage with this individual. People are spiritual energies first before they are physical bodies. So that is what this is focused on. So what I see from the tarot cards is that you're dealing with a person that has a bit of a childlike nature when they approach life. They could be the type of person that thinks after they have spoken. So what I mean to say is that they might say things and not really consider it. Now, with this particular tarot card, I'm getting the energy of wanting to have things done in their way. I'm getting the energy of someone that observes as well very carefully, but they do so from a position of defensiveness. It's like they could be ready to fight or ready to engage in an argument. Now when people are of this type of nature where they have a difficulty in having a normal conversation without getting offended about something, it means that there's an imbalance in the energy. Now this tarot card is showing to me that this person is a fighter. They feel like they have to fight to defend their position in everything. They have to maintain their status in life. Nothing comes easy to them. They have this mentality. And so it feeds into their dissatisfaction with a lot of things in their life. It's like they have to fight to keep a balance of things. They have to fight to maintain the respect of people around them, they have to fight to keep their job or fight to keep a relationship. Now in the past position, I'm noticing conflict. So they look at past experiences from a jilted and jaded point of view because it came up in the energy. You see, it's all connected. 
if you look at this card here, it's showing to me that they have a tendency to lament about things. They would rather look at a situation and think to themselves that they always get the short end of the stick. Now I'm seeing from this particular card that they struggle to let go of these inhibitions and these inadequacies and insecurities because they feel like they need to be punished for something. Now this could be going into their childhood, it could be going into their social circumstances, but somehow this individual has the wiring of a person that feels that they need to have everything in their life accomplished through the hard way. Nothing comes easy. And that's why they have a dissatisfaction with life, because they are wired this way. Now I'm seeing from this particular card here that they have a chance to leave this behind and break free. However, I'm also noticing that in their attitude position, this individual feels torn between two worlds, the past and the future. If they continue to observe life from the perspective of past experiences, they can never fully enjoy the present moment or set themselves up for a good future. Now, in the external influences, I see your energy. I see that you have a stabilizing energy. I see that you have a lot of power. And your strength is innate. You were born with it. But for some reason, the individual you are dealing with they really have a fear of being abandoned. They have a fear of being lonely, having no one to reach out to, having their world come crushing down. I see in the outcome position that you're dealing with an individual that at this point of time is going to choose to live inside of their mind because it's a much better place. They play out these scenarios, they engage with it, they allow themselves to have fun inside of their own head. It's almost very sad because they have a window of opportunity to break free from this kind of thinking but then they always revert back to a certain way. They always look at the castle in the sky instead of realizing that they need to be present in their life. So I hope you enjoyed this tarot card reading. I hope you enjoyed a glimpse into the mind of this individual. Remember, people can change. So don't attach too much significance to this reading. If you come back next month, for example, they could have a different set of beliefs, a different set of ideals inside of their head. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want a personal tarot card reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.